Man, she different, I can see it in her eyes Get into the money, she can focus on the grind Like a diamond, only gonna shine bright She keep on living her life Hello everybody, welcome back to Weta's World. It's your girl Jada Weta and I'm back at it again with another video. So today's video is a bit different. Um, it's more so of like a mindfulness video to help you give like a mental check to where you are. Um, me talking about where I am mentally. Um, and yeah, it's just to raise like awareness um, to get you thinking about those feelings that you may have. Um, I don't know I've been having like this heavy feeling on my chest where I need to come and I need to talk to people about like your anxieties like what's been bothering you like how to get through it and whatnot so yeah something's been telling me to maybe like share 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 but like I've been telling myself no 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 because when it comes to like topics like this thing at all like I love talking about this stuff but to make a video on it sometimes I get anxiety from that so today I am I'm here and we're gonna talk okay um, I'm gonna start by reading something that I read last night um, and I just felt like some, somebody needs to hear this I know I needed to hear it so I'm gonna read it um, hold on let me find it but I'm gonna read it for you guys so it says just in case nobody has told you lately I'm proud of you just in case no one has told you this today, I'm so proud of you and everything you've endured and achieved. I hope you know how worthy you are and how much you bring to the world. I'm proud of you for not giving up, no matter how many times you wanted to. I'm proud of you for choosing to keep going. I'm proud of you for continuing to show up each day despite what you've been through. I'm proud of you for taking steps to better yourself and your life lately and for finally showing yourself just how much you are capable of. Your strength and courage is inspiring and you should be proud of yourself too. Period! you should be proud of yourself too because whew, that when i read that last night i'm like that touched that touched me like i felt like that's for me because sometimes i feel like we can get so caught up on the, in the things that we haven't accomplished yet or or the things that are things that are taking longer that we don't sit down and take in the things that we already achieved like you sorry i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting too passionate <laughs> like you have to realize that it took you a while to get where you were and you're always gonna create those new goals but look back at the goals that you had before you are now in that sense like be grateful like be proud of yourself don't don't let those things go unseen um, and also sometimes you just really need to hear somebody say that they're proud of you get like you don't nobody tells you that they're proud of you like sometimes people just think like it's they already know like that they're proud of you but it's always nice to hear it um, but yeah, um, and then another topic that I would like to touch on is like feeling, I don't know about anybody else, but me personally, I have these feelings where sometimes I feel like I'm a burden. It could be in friendships, I can't, it's, I'm going to call it family ships, um, friendship, family ships, relationships, um, always having those feelings like you're a burden, like it could be in the sense of sometimes when you need help and you ask somebody for help but like you might feel like you're a burden by asking them for help um it could just needing like a uh somebody to talk to and then when you get to talking to them like sometimes just how people come off like you might feel as if they don't want to listen to you so you feel like you're a burden by talking so you just you just step back um, and my, me and myself, I definitely feel like I'm a burden at times. Like I tell people, like if I am too much for you and if I am a burden, please tell me, so I can I can back up and give you space because you don't want to inconvenience that other person mentally um, because you're going through something, you know. Um, but yeah. All right. So back to the topic of anxiety. Um, some sometimes you may not think that you have anxiety especially for black women like anxiety shows up very like it shows up differently um we can be very like irritant like very irritated with anything um you can be very tired i know that when when my anxiety come up i'm tired um my breathing's very off i get like this really heavy feeling in my chest um i worry a lot i overthink a lot um Some people do get nauseous um there's a there's a whole list of things and system and system symptoms that 
you may not you may not know of like me personally i don't know about everything like i'm still learning um and i feel like anxiety shows up in every person differently um and you gotta know what like triggers your anxiety i know for me what triggers my anxiety when like i feel like there's too much conflict going on or i feel like yeah pretty much when i feel like there's too much conflict going on or like i'm like sensory overloaded and i can't get anything done um and then that leads me into shutting down so when i feel like there's too much conflict going down it it, it depends on like what the conflict is like if the conflict is like staying right in front of me like it's happening right where like right then and there i can like freeze up um i'll freeze up i'll just i'll stop talking i'll be unresponsive unresponsive and i'll just start sobbing and like panicking and it'll take me a minute to like calm down but it's it's just an uneasy feeling um but when it's not like right in front of me and when it's just like in my head i have to come back and like regroup and ask myself why am i having these feelings how can i fix these feelings what do i need to do um in order to control my feelings or whatever or control this feeling that i have um but anxiety is something that you take day by day anxiety depression um any any mental health issue is something that you take day by day and you just you just have to be patient with yourself um, that's something that I learned um, just in the long run. You got to be patient with yourself because some of these things, don't, they don't come easy. And it's important to have um, a, a support group. But then me and myself, like, I'm sometimes I'm not comfortable. <laughs> sometimes I'm not comfortable telling people, like, how I feel and what I'm going through. So you got to have those outlets in order to, like, really gotta have those outlets um to cope coping mechanisms um so one of my coping mechanisms is i like to journal i like to read i do um things that involve like self-care and taking care of me um listen to music um but you got to be careful what type of music that you listen to um because i know when we get like sad or whatever we listen to all these like um sad songs but that really fuels into the sadness but i feel like there there is music where like i'm like a mellow type r&b neo soul type girl so you gotta pick like the right songs that always have like a positive positive message but like a calming a calming vibe um now i'm all about the psychology books so i have this book and kind of coping it's a book about um an illustrated life of anxiety so i'm just gonna give you some some um examples of uh coping mechanisms that the person who made this book used um give me one moment so one thing they like to use is a self-care so it comes with like this little cute like bingo chart hold on let me see if i can focus that for you cute little like bingo chart um but let me read some of the ones for you because you guys probably can't see that well um okay so she likes to write or draw look up funny memes making something without caring whether it's good having a good cry but keep it short use the expensive tissue buy yourself a smallish gift forgive yourself for what you couldn't do today and resolve to try again tomorrow i feel like this is a big one because i know when i tell myself that i'm going to do something and i don't end up doing it that same day i get very upset with myself and i get mad um so you got to forgive yourself um and you got to forgive the people that hurt you hurt you in the long run yeah you got to forgive the people that hurt you forgive yourself just forgive and move on so you can really be at peace with yourself um Compliment somebody and wash their face light up. Take a shower. Um, soak in the tub with a magazine. Make your bed fresh. I'm I'm sticking with I agree with the making your bed one because when I feel like I'm I'm going into like my mental health dark hole to clean my room and make my room like up to par, it it, it there's just something, it's something that it scratches in the brain like ah mm. I'm, I'm good I'm coping I'm doing well um, heavy on the comfort food talk to a pet or a friend 
I love me my pets. Speaking of, okay, she's right there. I love my pets. Um, they're just so comforting and cute. Um, but yeah, those are a few self-care ideas that she has. Um, um, I don't remember what I was saying. I got lost in reading the book after I, I paused. Um, but yeah, another thing is little acts of resilience you must be resilient um let me find my page and i'll come back um so i'm just gonna read the definition of resilience that we have in this book number one the capacity to recover quickly from difficult difficulties and toughness number two the ability the ability of substance or object to spring back into shape elasticity um and I feel like when you have anxiety, um, it's important to be resilient. Um, not saying that you have to bounce back as quickly, um, but having that ability to bounce back and, you know, like help yourself, you know? Um, another thing that I want to talk about is, you know how people say um, they're gonna match someone's energy? I don't know about you guys, but when you guys want to match people's energy, half the time when you want to match somebody's energy, are you like, is that coming from a place of hurt? Because I know for me, when I say I'm going to match their energy, oh, I'm going to treat them how they treat me, blah, 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 that's coming from a place of hurt. And I feel like at the same time, like, yes, like, match matching someone's energy, you don't want to, like, do what they're, you don't want to do too much in a sense, but I feel like, that's not i know that's not treating others the way you want to be treated i feel like that's following in like the wrong footsteps and i feel like when you try and like match someone's energy in a sense um it doesn't make it doesn't make anything better it makes everything worse in my opinion um i feel like it's a waste in certain situations i be like i really believe that it's a waste in situations that can be fixed <laughs> matching someone's energy like matching pettiness with pettiness like it's it's just causing more conflict and conflict brings me anxiety i don't know about anybody else but i really believe that the term matching you're gonna match people's energy all 2023 matching the energy da, 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 da. i really believe that that comes from a place of hurt it does and we don't get anywhere matching people's energy don't match if you don't like somebody's energy there's no point of you matching it because you're bringing that same negativity to you don't match the energy keep your own energy if you don't like something tell somebody that you do not like something and if it doesn't change then you just have to let it go and give yourself peace because when you keep up this ongoing thing of matching energy matching energy like it doesn't benefit anybody in the end it's certainly not benefiting you you might feel great um in the beginning but in the long term you're not gonna feel good about that there's no way that you're gonna feel good about that um but yeah i just bounced around from like eight different topics realistically but that's what's been weighing like heavy on my chest um and i felt as if like i needed to come and share with everybody and talk to everybody about where they are mentally um because i relate to it too at the same way so i feel like if i'm going through this i feel like somebody else would be Somebody else is probably going through it at the same time and somebody else needed to hear it. But sometimes like when you're in your head and you know these things, you you won't really listen to yourself. But if you hear somebody else, you're like, hmm, maybe this is right. Maybe this person's right. Like maybe this is exactly what I needed. Um, I'd be pulling up the books like back to back to back to back. But this is another book that I use. Um, if you have me on like TikTok, you see me. Um, you see me um, post this book. So this book is another self-help mind mental health book. Um, it's about finding your balance. Um, if you have like bad habits on how you cope um, with your stress and anxiety, um, get you a self-help book. I got that book from Indigo. Um, there's a lot of good practices in there that can help you um, like break the cycle and learn like better ways to do things um 
but yeah and i know like a lot of there's a lot of stigma around the mental health around mental health in the black community um i'll do another video on that because this is not gonna this is not the first video this is not gonna be the only video um that i'm doing about these topics um it's a new thing that i'm gonna incorporate into the channel guys so i hope you guys are i hope you guys watch this and enjoy this just as so much as you enjoy the prank because like it's good to have a laughter and um and laugh at these things but we also have to grow and learn as a community um and as people in general so we can just have peace in life um also um yeah so i don't know how long this was i hope it's a little short and sweet um taster for what we have coming what we have coming up um I don't know what I'm going to call this. I don't know when I'm going to post this. I was thinking uh, um, Mindful Mondays. Or I was thinking like Waiters Wednesday workshops or something. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think I should call these. Um, mindfulness Mindfulness Mondays. I kind of like Mindfulness Mondays. But then I also like Waiters Wednesday workshop. I don't know we'll figure it out you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think um if you guys watch the video i'm i want to say thank you for watching the video thank you for seeing um a happy mind is a happy life um and i feel like everybody just wants to be happy at the end of the day i don't even know if this video makes sense but it was me rambling i think um but i really think i said some good points and i said some good things and I don't know after having this conversation with you guys i feel much better and oh the dog scared me i feel much better and i feel like somebody out there needed to hear it so oh it's just a squirrel if you know me i don't mess with outside because last time i was out here a raccoon came to visit me but um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed um comment down below if you guys have any questions or any topics you guys want me to cover about like mental health or it could be anything that you are going through with your life and you want somebody else's like insight on it and i really hope you guys really do participate in this um because i really do believe that it's important um but yeah i'm just gonna say like this is the end of the video oh before i go i want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel thank you thank you so much for all the support and the love that i've been getting um we finally hit 7,000 subscribers so welcome welcome to the family thank you to the family that's already been here um i really do appreciate it um you guys are really like wow this girl's really calm even though i'm always giving trouble um but yeah i'm really calm i'm really chill really calm chill and i'm i'm i think a lot I'm very intellectual i'm a very intellectual being but yeah guys anyway I don't know how much time I'm gonna say this is the end of the video, but this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification so you know the next time that I post. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!